In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to use a circular mask to introduce or conclude a particular scene. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to take this short video and drag it down to track number one. Then to get into the mask designer, I click on the designer tab with my clip highlighted and go to mask designer. This will create a mask for this clip only. I'm going to use a circular one and it will start out with this default. Now I'm going to use my keyframes in order to control this. So we'll start out with the mask being very small. So I'm going to drag the corners until it's virtually invisible and try to keep it as much as I can in the center. I don't really see XY coordinates here so I have to approximate. So there is my micro mask. I'm going to click on the diamond of the keyframe for position and scale at the opening of my um, clip. Now I'm going to move the uh, scrubber a little bit to the right and then I will enlarge my mask uh, keeping it in the center here and now I'm going to have to shrink my project because I want the mask to be so big that uh, it totally disappears. There we go. So that's an approximate. And then I'm going to click on OK. And now uh, if I go ahead and play my clip, it goes from nothing all the way out. We'll show you that again. There we go. And the distance between the moments in the keyframes will determine how fast it will open up. But you've seen this before, and here's an easy way to do it. What I've discovered, though, is you can only put one mask on a clip. So if later in the clip I want to close it, I have to split the clip. I'll split the timeline here. Click on the second part. Go to Designer and Mask Designer. And it still has my um, position here. So what I'm going to do is going to take, um, I want it to shrink down to nothing. Um, so I will uh, take my scrubber, move it over here. And uh, I'm going to remove this keyframe and remove this keyframe. And remove keyframe. Okay, now I'll move the scrubber over to the end of the clip. And I'll right click and I'll say duplicate previous. And here, and I'll duplicate previous. Then I'm going to move back to the beginning where it's open. And on this one, now that that's highlighted, I'll change this one to big. We'll shrink down my picture here. Get about in the center and then just make it so I don't see any any uh, black at all. There we go. Click on OK. So if I did that right in this particular frame, let's see what happens when I click on Movie. It went down to nothing or virtually nothing. And then if you play the whole thing together, it zooms out. We have as much of our movie as I want. And then it will zoom back in. And if I want to change the speed on the second part, I just double click on my second clip and go to Designer, Mask Designer. And what I want to do is uh, click on this timeline and then I'm going to move it. Move both of these over. We'll make it uh, close a lot faster here. Click on OK. There, that should be quite a bit quicker. So it's running, it's open. Click on Movie again. There we go. And it continues for a while longer. And then all of a sudden, it should shrink down. So that's an easy way to use a circular clip uh, to open or close a scene in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.